Yeah, we're just going to jump on. We're yeah, live we're on YouTube. We're no. Oh, we're live right now. Yeah. Oh, amazing. Okay, so what's your name and where are you from? My name's Eric Butler. I'm originally from California, but I've been living in Brooklyn for the past four or so years. Okay, and you're coming very highly recommended right now. Um, what brought you here? What is it? Um, what is it that you do? Are you an activist? Are you a blogger? Well, my day job is in real estate, but I am, since the virus, I've been uh, more boots on the ground. Uh, I kind of got a little bit of traction tracking some of the empty testing facilities in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, I mean, it, it triggers me a little bit. Um, I caught them playing football in the testing facility. I caught them sleeping in hammocks in Flatbush, Brooklyn, um, while I was not able to go to work. So from that, I just started taking a little bit more on-the-ground footage of the decay in New York City because it is decaying rapidly. I mean, we have the garbage is what's happening now. That's the most intrusive problem. But before that, we had fireworks, gang violence, obviously the shutdowns and it all started with the empty testing facilities and I just started ran with that so, real estate agent by day investigative journalist by night what um, inspired you to kind of get into that had you been involved in politics before or were you involved did you like watching the news I mean I, that's I, well, I do. pretty I, serious work that you did there yeah so I am I've always been a, not always but you know in the past four or so years <laughs> been a little bit of a news junkie and um, it's definitely gotten more entertaining it's definitely gotten more entertaining and I knew this I knew we all knew the reckoning was coming it was coming right like the media was just lying and lying and lying and somebody eventually we have you know like Maggie and right side broadcasting and I mean all the you know the real news gang Jorge yeah, well, all really uh, yeah all the, the whole the whole crew um, and when I couldn't go to work I didn't have anything to do so I just doubled down like, they said, you've got to stay home, you can't go to work. I was like, no, I'm going to explore parts of New York I've never seen before. And that's what I've been doing. And it just, watching the decay is, it's awful, but it's intriguing, right? I mean, it never, we got a lot of support out here. I know, it's fun. This is um, the new rally spot. <laughs> this is the new rally spot, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I just didn't have a job, so I found something to do. It's and very Project Veritas. -y, it sounds yeah, like. Yeah, I mean, they are definitely inspiration. Um, you know, James. They, and shout out to them. Obviously, they do a blockbuster after blockbuster. You need to go apply. <laughs> I, 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 you know, shout out if, if you if you're here. Um, but one thing that really stuck with me was that old video of him and infiltrating the Bernie campaign. Well, you'll see those guys talking about if Bernie doesn't get the nom, cities set or you know cities will explode, and here we are. So if it wasn't going to be one thing, it was going to be another, and Absolutely. we got to document it. Um, how do you think President Trump is handling his diagnosis since testing positive coronavirus? I think 48 hours ago. Yeah, it was. It seems like it seems like a long time it ago. It seems like a week ago. I feel like I've known this forever. Yeah, we've just been going nonstop with the you know here in D.C. just making the most of the time. But um, I think he's doing. I think he's doing well, right? Like he put out his first little video. He looked good, and he was like, you know, I'm, you know, I'm fine. I'm gonna be. He didn't, you know, you know, you know what he says. Um, and then the recent one, I thought, I thought wasn't too bad at all. Now the thing that caught my eye was that he wasn't wearing a tie. Like when is the last time we saw him without a tie? Oh, no. So that was like a little distressing for me, but I didn't realize that. But he loves his tie. I know he, he loves the tie, he, right? <laughs> and so to, that's what caught, he was. He was, was like, whoa, he's. Never seen him without a. That means he's not feeling so well. He's not feeling so well, but I think he'll be back. And I don't want to go tinfoil hat, but <laughs> something doesn't smell right. I I, I don't know, especially no. with, I mean, the chain of events. The election. And then we have like. We got this long, and I mean, now the White House is. But everything else, I mean, Nancy doing her salon thing, Gavin doing his thing. I'm from California, so shout out to them. And then of course, well, DeSantis opens up everything in Florida. Cuomo. <laughs> Your favorite. <laughs> he 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 wants to he wants to charge people. I guess it's De Blasio. I don't know what these clowns are doing, but they want to fine people a thousand dollars for walking on a sidewalk without a mask, and so fifty dollars for getting on a train without a mask, but a thousand dollars for walking on a sidewalk without a mask. None of it makes sense. Let it go, guys. Andrew Cuomo. I can't stand him. He 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 gets power by instilling fear and despair amongst people uh, you know upon people 
and I can't stand it. Absolutely. Well, very well said. Thank you for being here. And, of course, your handles as well. I know people are going to want to check out some of that work. So where, yeah, how can our viewers follow you? Your name one more time, where you're from, and your social media. So my name's Eric Brooklyn by way of Oakland, California. And you can check me out on Instagram, Report, and Opine, and also on YouTube. Is that How do you spell your handle? R-E-P-O-R-T. A N D O P I N E. Report and opine. Okay, got it, got it. Thank Check you. It out. Following now. Thank you so much for your interview. I'm going to toss it over to Mike. Are you with Jack? Awesome. And Jack Posobic. So, awesome interview. I'm excited to hear this one.